What's going on guys, Matt from MLHD here. Today we're going to be looking at something I've been using a lot recently while editing my videos. It's the Hyperdrive USB-C dock for the new 15 inch MacBook Pro. The only thing that comes in the box is the adapter itself. I picked this up at Best Buy right after their Kickstarter finished. Even with the pricey $100 price tag, I was still really excited to get one. If you've ever worked with the new MacBook Pro, you know the struggle of using dongles, so I hope that this would be the end-all be-all solution to having all the ports I need, but let's take a closer look. The dock comes in two colors to match the two new MacBook Pro colors, silver and space gray that I have here. The colors are pretty close, but not exact when they are put side by side to the laptop. On the inside, you have the Hyperdrive logo and the two USB-C plugs. It connects to both USB-C ports on the left side and sits perfectly flush with the laptop. It does fit on the right side, but it's definitely not going to sit flush. Once it's plugged in, the light on the bottom will be on as long as it is connected. On the top of the dock, there's an HDMI port, and on the side you'll see two USB-C ports, an SD and a micro SD card slot, and two normal USB ports. Now one thing you definitely have to look at when looking at docks for the new MacBook is how speed is affected when importing and exporting through the dock. The first USB-C or Thunderbolt port serves as a pass-through to the first port, so it can be used for charging and importing at full speed. All of the other ports run through a second USB-C port, so they're going to have slower speeds. The HDMI port can run a 1080 monitor at 60Hz and a 4K monitor at 30Hz. The pass-through port acts as a Thunderbolt port and can run a 5K monitor or two 4K monitors at 60Hz, transfer data at 40GB per second, and can charge up to 100 watts. The second USB-C port can only be used with data transfer at speeds up to 5 gigabytes per second. Both SD card slots are UHS-1 and have a 104 megabyte per second transfer rate, but it's definitely nice that you can use them both at once. Last, the two USB 3.1 ports can power devices and transfer data at 5 gigabytes per second. So you can see by having extra ports, you dramatically decrease that 40 gigabyte per second transfer speed that the USB-C ports originally have. One thing I have seen that happens with a lot of hubs like this one is they tend to lose power when a lot of ports are being used. So I'm going to plug something into every slot and try to transfer some video from the cards and a hard drive onto the computer. I was definitely surprised to see that I could transfer video from my hard drive and two SD cards while still being able to charge three other devices from the remaining ports. So as you guys can see, this is a pretty complete package for the new MacBook Pro. I use it all the time and definitely love how it gives you all the ports in one package that is attached to the laptop itself and not hanging from a cord. However, for $100, I may be able to justify buying a cheaper dock that would do the same job for a lot less. Another thing that was kind of weird to me is how it's definitely designed to only be used on the left side, but the card slot is upside down whenever it's put into place. Either way, it's super helpful to be able to get the most out of your laptop. The Hyperdrive is a great all-around dock in a single cord-free package. It comes in both space gray and silver to match both the new MacBook colors. It has a nice metal finish and all of the features you could need for your laptop. I'd recommend the dock to someone who likes having everything in one streamlined package. Using this adapter over other dongles makes it easy to get all the ports just like they are built in. Overall, I think it's a practical dock, it's just kind of pricey, but functions really, really well. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest tech reviews. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. That's all we have for today. We'll see you guys next time.